everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. So today's video is a really special one. I want us all to stop for a moment, press pause, even though we are feeling so inspired and so motivated and just make sure that we are setting the right type of goals for ourselves, for our value system, for what we truly desire in our lives right now and make sure that we set ourselves up for success the right way. Welcome back. As I said, Happy New Year. I hope that you are excited about what the future holds for you and you are ready to embrace the journey ahead of you. Today's video, I really want to talk about goals and goal setting, but talk about how to make sure you've set some really great, powerful, exciting, inspiring goals for yourself. You see, at this time of the year, so many of us, including myself, can fall trapped to society's goals, goals that we're told that we should have or would be cool to do. And they kind of sound okay, but they don't really stir up anything inside of us. And sometimes I know for myself, from experience, when I followed like a herd mentality goal, it hasn't really happened. I've like got distracted, I've got bored, I've fallen out of love with that goal. and then I end up feeling really bad about myself. However, last year in 2023, I did something very different with my goal setting where I really invested a lot of TLC exploring what I truly yearned for and understanding my big why behind those goals. And as a result of actually doing this work, I actually set myself some amazing goals. Some were big, some were small, but I felt incredibly connected and inspired in a sustainable way throughout the year. And I would say, not to gloat, but I probably achieved about 90% of my goals, which has been one of my most successful years ever in a really challenging financial time for all of us with the rising cost of living. So I wanted to share with you some steps that I followed last year and have followed again this year to make sure that I've set great goals. And I think you'll find this really helpful. So let me share with you exactly what I did and why. So step number one was to really about avoiding, you know, the society goals like, oh, to lose this much weight or to save up this much money or to pay off this much debt. I asked myself these simple questions and they really got the creative juices flowing in my life where I actually could quickly see what I really wanted to achieve for myself. So the simple questions were number one, what would I be really proud of seeing? for 2024. Another question I asked myself, what would I love to have happen in 2024? And then I asked myself to really make sure that I wasn't holding myself back and I was really connecting with my authentic self. And that was, if I could wave a magic wand, what would I love 2024 to be all about? Now the most amazing ideas, aspirations, goals, experiences really like resonated with inside me and I felt them like bubbling inside me and with that it just created this incredible process which took me to the next step which was articulating these feelings and for me things like travel experiences adventure family moments I really want 2024 to be about traveling and going on holidays as a family we managed to squeeze a short holiday at the end of 2023 with my family in Bali which was amazing and in asking myself this question it made me realize I want that experience again I want that experience not just again but multiple times so I was able to set that down as a goal another thing that came up to me when I asked myself this question was about one of the margin loans that I have for the thousand dollar project I would love to see that margin loan paid off so I wrote that down but as I did this I really explored the why behind it so I could really connect with it and for me, seeing that $1,000 project margin loan, which is an investment loan paid off, means 100% of the passive income I earn from that diversified share portfolio is purely mine, which of course I donate to the World Vision's The Thousand Girl Project. But having that, I guess, freedom to not have to worry about meeting those interest repayments each month is really liberating. So that became a very clear goal that just 
came up with inside me after asking myself those questions and then of course as I said for step two writing them down along with my big why so I understand what I'm working on and I know that the sacrifices the hard work the dedication the commitment is most definitely worth it number three now this is about looking at those goals and looking at the time frame that I want to achieve those goals and actually putting a structure in place thinking about all right what are the things that I need to do to help make sure each of these goals really do happen within my deadline ideally even sooner because that's going to free up more time and energy in my life so this is where i really got creative writing down as many ideas as possible things that i can realistically do with my available resources that will help make a difference i didn't go out there thinking all right what is the one solution that's going to make sure i tick this goal off instantly i understand that achieving goals is multiple little steps and wins and successes along the way and together they add up and help create that big winning success where you feel incredible so i wrote down a huge list of all the different things and all the different ideas that came to me i didn't I didn't care about whether they were silly ideas or crazy ideas or embarrassing ideas. I just got them down because I really believe there is something behind everything. There's a blessing in disguise. There's a, a method to the madness. There is a stroke of genius where there is actually a brilliant idea behind a crazy one. Now from that, it gave me some really practical things that I can do every single day in positive alignment to making sure that that goal really does happen. It's not floating around in my heart or my head. It's already down on paper. I can articulate exactly what I want. I've gotten really clear. Remember, money loves definition and clarity. And I'm actually doing the physical hard work or even fun work to make sure that this really does happen and 2024 is very different, just like 2023 was. So having a practical game plan in place and breaking those tasks down into little daily habits and tasks and steps makes a massive difference. And then step number four, which is a lead on from all of these ideas and daily habits, and that is actually building mini goals throughout the year. As I said, look at the deadlines for your goals. When do you want to achieve them? And is there a way of maybe even achieving them sooner? Remember, let go of any of those self-limiting beliefs or any of those ceilings holding you back where you think it's gonna take a certain amount of time. This is where you can look at little goals, goals where you can see the progress, the wins, and also allow those respites, those moments to catch your breath, replenish yourself, and you know get back on your energy levels again before you go again. Bursts and spurts is what I recommend. So for example, if you've got a goal to save, say, $10,000, by the 1st of December 2024. Look at how much money you need to have saved throughout the year. Does this mean you need to start saving $180 per week? Or does this now mean that you need to look at saving in chunks of per month? Look at your life and what your life looks like, your responsibilities and what is realistic. All you need to do is have the sensation of progress in your life because progress is what is gonna give you the faith and the confidence to stick to it and keep going. So short, sharp, mini goals throughout the way that are in positive alignment to your big exciting exhilarating amazing goal for 2024 and don't be afraid to include those mini habits tasks and steps that I spoke about from step number three into your short-term mini bite-sized achievable goals and then number five this one is the most important one of all so please make sure you are listening up and that is to stay open. It is really important that you understand the reality of life. There are going to be weeks where you're not feeling very well or you're not feeling very motivated. There'll be weekends maybe where you're away and you can't actually put your heart and soul into that particular goal. That's natural. So be realistic with yourself. But at the same time, I really want you to be open. I want you to let go of self-limiting beliefs. I want you to look at that deadline, be aware of that deadline. But understand there's also the opportunity and the possibility that you could actually achieve that goal sooner faster or perhaps you could actually overachieve that goal you see when you have a goal and you're really serious about it and you own it the universe i believe has your back it clears the path for you so you are given the biggest and best opportunity to achieve that goal it will present you with incredible opportunities connections windfalls even to help make sure that you stay on track and keep going because the universe believes in you and understands how important your why is to you so stay open-minded and also the same side the pendulum swings both ways don't worry too much about ticking off goals 
don't get me wrong, this is really important. And achieving goals is some of the very valuable building blocks to our sense of self-worth, faith and confidence. But also look to the journey. When I look at the goals I achieved in 2023, some of which I just got in by the skin of my teeth and some in fact I actually overachieved. The best and biggest richness that came to me was the journey, the experiences, the things I learned about myself, the depth of character within myself, how I grew, how I developed, understanding my value system more, understanding about you know the, the little things in life, having a, a greater sense of gratitude. So I really hope that everything that I share with you right now helps you look at your goals and perhaps if you haven't done your goals, you now set different goals, more exciting goals, goals that light you up inside. And if you've already done your goals after listening to this advice and this insight, you perhaps go back to your goals and make a few simple tweaks and changes so that they're now even more exciting and you feel more empowered than ever before. But promise me this, you will be kind to yourself during this process. Know that there is an incredible journey ahead of you, that the universe has your back. And it doesn't matter what you are working on, as long as you've got something that is important to you and it is something that you're gonna be really proud of as you stand at the end of 2024 and look back and look back with pride and satisfaction, knowing that it, you gave 2024 your absolute very best, which is more than enough. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure, of course, you are subscribed and you are following me on both of my Instagram accounts and, of course, TikTok. I'll see you next Thursday on Sugar Mama TV. Ciao for now.